At Crash Lab, we test helmets to determine their ability to absorb impact energy and protect your head. First, we fit the helmet to a head form, which represents the size and weight of a rider's head, and then we drop it in free fall onto both a flat and a hemispherical rigid surface. If you are wearing a helmet, then it will spread the impact load over a larger area of your head and the energy absorbing material. By spreading the load over a much larger area, the likelihood of a skull fracture is greatly reduced and the crush of the helmet material will cushion the impact on your head and brain. So the long-term impacts that I've seen on patients with traumatic brain injury um, as a treating surgeon include people may be unable to hold down the job they had before. They no longer have the skills they'd acquired in a university education. There may be poor impulse control. There may be an inability to control aggression. For those around, the significant others, the spouse, the family, it can be horrible. If you're wearing an approved helmet that's correctly fitted, you're far less likely to die from an impact to your skull. If you do have the misfortune to sustain a brain injury, it's much more likely to be far less severe. As a surgeon um, who sees the devastating consequences of people who do and don't wear helmets, wear a helmet, please. Uh, if not for yourself, for those around you.